Okay, well, we have to shift our focus to some other details also coming in. We're now understanding the Delhi court has taken cognizance of the fresh charge sheet filed by the Enforcement Directorate making Jacqueline Fernandez as an accused in the 200 crore duping case against conman Sukesh Chandrasekhar. The court has also issued summons against Jacqueline Fernandez and has asked her to appear before the court on the 26th of September. That's the big update that's coming in, where, as I pointed out, Jacqueline Fernandez has been summoned. Delhi court has taken cognizance of the fresh charge sheet. Ananya Bhatnagar, our legal correspondent, joining us with more details. Ananya, give us all the details. Well, yes, uh, uh, Delhi's uh, Patiala House Court has now summoned uh, Jacqueline Fernandez and other accused persons into this particular case with, uh, regarding the 200 crore duping, uh, which also involves Conman Sukesh Chandrasekhar. Remember, uh, uh, Jacqueline has been accused, a fresh charge sheet that was filed against Jacqueline Fernandez, making her accused into this particular case. Before that, she was a witness into this case, and now in the fresh charge sheet that, that has been filed by the Enforcement Directorate, uh, in fact, uh, she has been made an accused clearly accused uh, of, in fact, using the proceeds of crime and enjoying, in fact, uh, the tainted money. And, uh, in fact, uh, the charge sheet has been filed, uh, was filed earlier this month, and now uh, cognizance has been taken, and Jacqueline Fernandez would have to appear before the court of law on uh, the September of 26, though the date would uh, of 24 was given, but then... Uh, Due to the difficulty of some of the advocates, the date, date has been changed. And now, on September 26, Jacqueline Fernandez would have to appear before the court. Remember, this is the first uh, uh, charge sheet that has been filed against Jacqueline Fernandez being made an accused into this uh, particular case. And uh, now, uh, we'll have to wait and watch as to what happens particularly uh, into this particular case and what happens more in this case uh, as soon as the court proceeds on. And then quickly, I also want to understand from being a witness to now an accused and now the Delhi court taking Hello. cognizance, what are the legal options before Jacqueline Fernandez? Well, Jacqueline would have to appear before the court and uh, she would apply for a bail application because she, she has not been uh, arrested particularly into this case uh, as of now. So she would be... Uh, in fact, uh, first appear before the court, file a bail application and seek a bail into this particular case after uh, uh, when the, she would file an application, the ED would file a response to this. And uh, uh, after which the court would take its decision whether to grant bail or not to Jacqueline Fernandez. However, it would be easier for her to get a bail because she has not been arrested in this case uh, so far. And uh, uh, after filing the re requisite application, the court proceedings will go on. But uh, as of now, on September 26, Jacqueline Fernandez would have to come before Delhi's Patiala House Court and appear, mark her appearance before the court of Mr. Praveen uh, Singh, who is the special judge NIA in Patiala House Court, uh, which is currently hearing the matter, and would definitely uh, be appearing on the September of 26, along with the other accused person, including Sukesh Chandrasekhar, his wife, uh, uh, Lena Maria Paulso, who's also an actress, uh, a South Act person who were accomplices of uh, Sukesh Chandrasekhar into this particular case. And then, yeah, just for the benefit of our viewers, we actually want to talk to uh, them about what are the allegations as far as involvement of Jacqueline in this case is concerned. Am I correct to understand that the major cause of worry for Jacqueline is that she's actually been a recipient as far as proceeds of crime were concerned? Well, yes, uh, definitely. The major charge against Jacqueline Fernandez is that she has been using the proceeds of crime that was uh, attained by Sukesh Chandrasekhar and was a beneficiary of the money that was uh, uh, procured by Sukesh Chandrasekhar by way of duping people to a tune of rupees 200 crore. Remember, this was, uh, in fact, a uh, 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 pharmaceutical company's uh, owner's wife who was duped by Sukesh Chandrasekhar by impersonating as the law, uh, law secretary of the country and also as the union home minister. Uh, and uh, following which uh, uh, she ended up paying him to uh, uh, amount to the tune of 200 crore rupees. And now uh, what is very, very crucial is that uh, she has now been made and accused into this particular case. Uh, in the first two charge sheets, uh, her statements were only being used to prosecute uh, Sukesh Chandrasekhar. But now she has also been made and accused. The ED officials, the ED sources uh, who are close to us have uh, clearly informed us that they have found evidence okay. of uh, Jacqueline Fernandez being uh, uh, in, in uh, uh, as an accomplice of... Uh, Sukesh Chandrasekhar and uh, using uh, the particular tainted money uh, in in um, in way of gifts, in way of okay. uh, expensive gifts. In fact, uh, there's a long list of gifts, including, uh, in fact, a uh, big, uh, a horse, you know, luxury cars horse. and Persian cats, etc. Correct. Anani, I'll just request you to stay on with us. Our colleague Shilpa Ratnam also now joining us on the broadcast. Shilpa, what have we heard so far as far as Jacqueline's team is concerned? Well, the latest we heard from her was last week when she said that the Enforcement Directorate is differentiating 
between Nora Fatehi and and other victims and her because Jacqueline Fernandez has from the beginning maintained that she is in fact a victim in this case and now she alleged just last week that she was being treated differently by the central agency than the others who were named in that uh, money laundering case and uh, she has said that even her fixed deposits are under scrutiny and she said that they are from her own legitimate source of income she said she's always cooperated with the investigation agencies and she seems she is being targeted in this case so this is the latest that is coming in from Jacqueline side uh, and as we know that even last month she was stopped at the airport and not allowed to uh, travel out of the country uh, so the actress maintains that uh, you know she has been made and accused in a case where others are being uh, let off by uh, naming them as witnesses okay shilpa i'll just request you to stay on with us our colleague ashish mehrishi also now joining us on the broadcast tracks developments of the enforcement directorate ashish what are sources within the ed telling you what are the red flags for them as far as jacqueline's involvement is concerned so jacqueline basically is the beneficiary of proceeds of crime if you remember before being named as an accused in the charge sheet she was basically uh, uh, you know treated as a witness but later on they realized that uh, uh, jacqueline was very much in the know that that uh, sukesh chandra shekhar or alay sukash he was basically in the jail and despite being in the jail she was directly in touch with sukesh chandra shekhar now that is the evidence because of that evidence she has been named as an accused but if you remember the lawyer of jacqueline fernandez has come out and said uh, that you know she was also conned because uh, she was not aware whenever he used to call he used to be well dressed on the video call and she could not identify that he was in jail but ultimately the enforcement directorate in the charge sheet have some evidence to show that she was very much aware that sukesh chandra shekhar was in jail and uh, you know uh, she was basically enjoying the proceeds of crime if you remember the 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 attachment order that was that came a few months back it had very clearly showed that she and her family members benefited of around 7.27 crore rupees and ultimately the assets have been attached so around 7.27 crore rupees of assets have been attached uh, this is in the form of the fixed deposit but the benefits okay. during that period in the benefits that accrued during that period Correct. include certain certain cats dogs Correct. Cars, so it looks yeah, like that the trouble is only mounting and increasing as far as Jacqueline Fernandez's involvement is concerned. Unfortunately, I will have to leave that conversation there. Ananya Shilpa and Ashish, thanks a lot for getting us all those details. With that, completely out of time on this edition of the news broadcast. Slipping into a very short break. Thanks a lot for watching.